Good morning children. In this video, we are going to learn what are cube numbers. So let's start with a cube. We know a cube is a three dimensional shape where length, breadth and height are all same. So here is an example cube with a length, breadth and height as 4 cm. And as we have learned in our geometry chapter, the volume of the cube is nothing but its side into side into side. So each side of a cube is same. So volume is side into side into side that is 4 cm into 4 cm into 4 cm which is equal to 64 cm cube. And that's where the name cube comes into the picture centimeter into centimeter into centimeter three times centimeter so centimeter cubes so we represent in cube like c cm and small three on top of it right so this is the formula of volume we already know of which is volume is side into side into side let's take some more example say a cube with side of each side as one centimeter its volume will be one into one into one 1 multiplied by 1 into 1 multiplied by 1 is equal to 1 centimeter cube. If a cube is of side 2 centimeter, its volume would be 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2 with 8 centimeter cube and so on. It's 5 centimeter, so it's 5 multiplied by 5 multiplied by 5, 5 5 is a 25, 25 5 is a 125, 125 centimeter cube. Or in a generic way, if the side is of a cube is n centimeter, then its volume is going to be n into n into n, that is we represent n cube, that is n multiplied by itself three times, n into n into n is n cube. And all these numbers 1, 8, 27, 64, 125 are known as cube numbers. So how do we represent cube of a number? It's pretty simple. Take any number, say 2 cube. We just say 2 cube means 2 multiplied by 2 multiplied by 2. The same number multiplied by itself 3 times. 2 into 2 into 2. That is 2 to the power 3. 3 cube is same. 3 into 3 into 3. That is 3 to the power 3. 4 cube is 4 into 4 into 4. So this representation anything to the power 3 means it's a cube of that number. Here are some example I've taken. So here are numbers and it's cube. How do we find it? 7 cube is 7 into 7 into 7 which is when you do it on paper you're going to find 343. Just do 9 into 9 into 9 that is 9 cube you're going to get 729. So here are the number and its cube means the same number multiplied by itself three times. 6 into 6 into 6 is 216. Now let's take some simple properties of cube numbers. So if the number is an even number like 2, 4, 6, 8 or 10 its cube is also even number. So 2 cube is 8, 4 cube is 64, 10 cube is 1000, 8 cube is 512. So if the number is even, its cube is even. And same way if the number is odd like 1, 3, 5, 7, 9 or 11, then its cube is also odd number. You can see here 127, 125, all these are odd numbers. And if a number ends with 1 in its units place, like 1, 11, 21, 31, they all have 1's in the units place, then its cube also ends with 1 in its units place. So 31 cube, where 1 is here in the units place, is 31 cube is 31 into 31 into 31, which is 29791. So you can see any number, it can be a big number also, 151, and it, if it try to find its cube, can be a, it will be a big number because it's going to be 151 into 151 into 151 but it will end with 1 
and why is that the case pretty simple if cube is nothing but multiplication of the same number three times so 31 into 31 into 31 let's do first 31 into 31 using a normal multiplication method when you do 31 into 31 first we start with here 1 so 1 into 1 1 1 into 3 3's we leave here blank or we can put x also here then 3 1's are 3 3 3's are 9 so it comes here and then 1 plus 0 is 1 3 plus 3 is 6 9 9 is plus 0 is 9 so what we got here is 31 into 31 is 961 which is the first part here and then we can see 1 into 1 is nothing but we get 1 here and why did we get it because 1 into 1 is 1 and in the next step here it will be 0 so 1 plus 0 is going to be 1 and 31 into 31 into 31 we have done the first part that is 31 into 31 which is going to be 961 now we do another multiplication with 31 same way 961 into 31 same way we can multiply 1 into 961 is going to be 961 next step we leave a blank or put x here 3 ones are 3, 3 6 are 18, 1 is carry over, 3 9 is 27 plus 1 28 and here we do 1 plus 0 is 1, 6 plus 3 is 9 and so on. So what did we get here? 1, 1 and finally here also 1. So any number like 31, 41, 51, any number which is ending with 1, its Q will also end with 1 because finally 1 into 1 is 1 and then you get 1 plus 0 is 1 if you do the basic multiplication method. So let's take another property of cube numbers. If any number ends with zeros, its cube will have three times the number of zeros. So for example, 10 has one zero here, its cube is 1000, three zeros. Or say 100 is the number, the 100 cube that is 100 into 100 into 100, is going to have here there are two zeros in 100, so it's going to have two into three, that is six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six. On 900 cube is going to be nine into nine into nine, seven twenty-nine. And these two zeros means three times that many numbers. Two into three, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And why is that case? Very simple. Let's take an example. 90 cube, it has one zero. It's going to have three zeros. Nothing but 90 into 90 into 90. You can see three zeros are also here. But you can also do it by using simple multiplication method. First do 19 to 90. You are going to get 0, 0 in the first step. Then 9, 0 is 0. 9, 9 is 81. You add it. As you can see, these two zeros, this is big make it 0 into 0 is 0 and this 0 plus 0 is 0. And then because of the second step, 9 into 0, you got another 0 here. So you got two zeros because of just square and then this 8100 multiplied by 90 one more time because it's 90 into 90 is 8100 and you have to do cube so 8100 into 90 again do a multiplication 0 multiplied by anything four zeros will be here then nine zeros are 0 you leave a blank here nine zeros are 0 nine zeros are 0 and so forth so finally you get this so you got finally three zeros and why you got it because zero zeros are zero zeros are here and then nine zeros us so you finally got three zeros here so 90 was having only one zero but it's cubes seven two nine zero 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 is having three zeros you can also find it in another way you can write 90 cube is nothing but 90 into 90 into 90 you can represent each of these 90 as 9 into 10 because 9 into 10 is 90. So this is 9 into 10, 9 into 10, 9 into 10. Take all the three 9's together, 9 into 9 into 9 and these three 10's together because in multiplication you can interchange the numbers. So you got 9 into 9 as 81 into 9, these 10 into 10 as 100 into 10 and finally 7 to 9 into 1000, 100 into 10 which is 729000. So there was one zero here, but in the final cube, it became three zeros. If it, if it was two zeros here, it would have become six zeros and so on. So that's all in this video, children. Bye-bye.